Customers until now have been using a different set of tools or a lot of manual labor just to, you know, do very simple tasks like deploying software on, you know, a set of client devices like laptops or desktops or, you know, doing backup and recovery activities of data from your servers or, you know, tracking in spreadsheets licenses, you know, how many licenses your end users are, are really uh, having in their laptops or desktops and not really putting a lot of attention on how they could automate and integrate holistically, you know, what we call the whole IT resource lifecycle. But now they are seeing the need uh, to look for an integrated solution to all of this process. And the reason is because, you know, with a, all of these independent tools, they were not able to realize the savings that they were expecting in terms of resources as well as in terms of time and the quality of services that they are providing. So IBM has been able to put together an integrated set of tools to really help you along the whole life cycle of uh, IT resources. Going from the deployment step to the monitoring step when you really start looking for the performance of those IT resources down to the management stage to look at, you know, how that asset, uh, you know, where that asset is located, the licenses that you have in that particular asset, until the moment you want to retire that asset, right, and, and really take care of how do you back up and protect the data there and dispose it appropriately. So uh, by doing that, customers are seeing tremendous benefits. Why? Because now we're being able to put more integration and automation across all of these individual tasks. So the IT managers or IT operators are now able to focus on higher level tasks. You know, particularly trying to drive higher service levels to the business, be more efficient and effective in terms of how they uh, deliver IT services, and really trying to, you know, reduce significantly the time and resources they use to manage the infrastructure.